Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap of the new episode of Concrete Revolutio, which is on Chojin Genso, or you could just call it Concrete Revolutio. This episode was pretty confusing, which is on episode 10. At first, I was thinking in my mind what the hell is going on, but after like understanding, skimming through it again, and trying to make some connections, I start to understand. Okay, let's just get started. At the beginning of the episode, we have two of that are that our character Jaguar, or whatever that guy's name is, um, the person who has the ability of time control, that, uh, that is all I can tell you right now, um, apparently he had, apparently he is going back in time to change a couple things due to the fact that there's some, like, um, chaos running around, you know? And we have to it that there's a hostage situation and two superhuman sc scammers, and we get to find out that, um, that a crew that's known to be IQ or Infernal Queen in other cases is killing killing all who is deemed evil and decide to like um cause some major damage and so forth, which is like killing all those who who is considered evil, you know? And I'm thinking in my mind, are you serious right now? You gotta be kidding me, man. But all this is behind Jaguar is behind like um the time control guy or Jaguar or something, due to the fact that his identity is revealed and so forth and they end up running and trying to go after a couple things, you know? It was revealed, like, somewhere at the Superhuman Bureau, you know, that all this time one of our characters that has time control is actually behind the IQ, or Infernal Queen. And later on, like, um, Kiko did find Jaguar and asked him a couple things and showed him his future counterpart, you know? Which is like, um, oh, I gotta kill you, etc. to, like, um, stop this from happening and start a paradox whatsoever, you know? Which is pretty crazy. Um... We have to it that our boy um, Jiro, along with the help with Emmy, managed to like um, do a certain damage to the ship, but it still managed to escape. But apparently, um, we have to it that um, Jaguar ends up meeting his future counterpart later after a couple like um, misgiving guides or something to like um, do some major like um, hits here and there, you know. And of course, Jaguar ends up killing his future counterpart self, but due to the due to Kiko helping out help helping out by by grabbing another member to like um figure something out, he did not disappear. So yeah, not too much going on after that. So to summarize it up in certain bullet points, it's just like um going back in time, trying to change the past or something, and trying to make it a better place. That's all I can give you right now in this episode. If you guys still don't understand, if you even kept up the series, go watch the episode yourself. So until then, I'll see you guys later, alright? I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.